Hello, Cancer. This is your May 2020 reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Asking for new energies and hopefully positive energies for Cancer. For the month of May, starting the month of May 2020. As you know, this will not resonate with all Cancer individuals. But I hope to reach, you know, the majority of you. You hear that beep and it's me watching my mother on a video to make sure that nothing happens with her because she's been ill too. So that helps me keep an eye on her and she's getting around pretty good for someone who's been sick. So you hear her popping around. It's a really good idea to have one of these cameras. And, ah, coming in energy, the magician. Cancer, you can manifest what you're wanting in life. You got the tools and the knowledge to do so, okay? You can do what you need to do to get ahead in this world, in case you're wondering. Subject at hand, the moon. Some of you may be trying to tap into uh, uh, more than just intuition. Tap into s secrets in some way. So for some of you, um, secrets may have been kept from you. You know, someone may have had a secret that you were dealing with or you do. Okay, what's crossing it? The Ace of Cups. A new emotional beginning. Maybe you're wondering if this person wants it. Or maybe you're wondering if you should go for a new emotional beginning, but you're afraid that you don't know everything that's going on around you, if it's going to be, if something else will come out that will stop you. It's more it has a lot to do with what you're feeling right now. Your goal, what crowns you, I'm thinking it's what crowns you, are messages. Maybe messages are all over the place or you're just not getting them with the Eight of Wands. It also could be lack of travel. You may not be able to travel as much. Foundation, what's causing all this is a tower situation. This could be what, what you know, what's going on in the world right now. You know, um, you heard something that left your life changed. You know, something happened um, that upset your um, everyday life. Past position, Eight of Swords. A lot of interference in life and feeling trapped. Near future, you got a lover situation coming up. It's a, it's a nice card. I like the lover situation. So if you're thinking that, if this has to do with the communications not coming over a lover situation, don't be too upset because a lover situation is going to occur in the near future. At least starting May, you're going to start feeling this energy coming in. Sorry, I'm, I'm still um, got a little short of breath from being sick, okay? So, uh, possible future outcome advice from the universe is to come out of sleepless nights. Don't be worried. Don't let this keep you up at night, okay? Outside influences. Um, someone may want to resurrect the situation. Um, something you thought that was over with may not be over. You know, something... An ending may be, um, not have happened. It's been put on hold. I'll clarify these. You know I clarify. Plus, I'm giving a mini love reading at the end, as always. Your hopes and fears. You're afraid you may not have strength to move on and do what you want to do in life. That makes sense with an, you know, you're afraid you lack strength, okay? In the end, you're going to be dealing with the Queen of Disc, okay? The Queen of Disc it could be a... Um, earth sign, okay? Be careful this earth sign. I'm feeling for some of you, they may not have a good agenda for you or, or good intentions, I should say, towards you. This queen of discs, it can be, I don't know, it could be any earth sign. And for some of you, I'm feeling like a Virgo type energy, but it could be any of the earth signs, you know, Capricorn or Taurus, you know, it could be a Taurus energy. But I'm feeling like this person is not being very practical. And I'll find out why in just a second. I don't think it's you. But this person, I don't know. I'll find out in just a second. Remember, you have the magician. You can manifest what you're wanting. Okay? Let me go clarify this. You do have a lover situation. But someone's trying to resurrect also outside in the situation with you. 
Current environment, you're afraid maybe of secrets. Secrets concerning an emotional nature. Maybe you're thinking someone's going to start an emotional situation that's around you. Maybe you're thinking somebody is messing around on you or not being very loyal to you for some of you. Yeah, maybe because you had an argument. And maybe you're thinking that maybe they'll put their eyes elsewhere because that's a five of swords and you're trying to also avoid an argument in this maybe you don't want to start an argument maybe you're having feelings that someone's keeping secrets um, when it concerns a love situation and you're trying to hold it at bay maybe i need another card also for the moon the ace of cups is crossing it and the five of swords in reverse trying to come out of defeat ace of pentacles in reverse yeah, you're you're not you're very leery about what's being offered to you or what you're being told when it comes to finances or stability. I'm feeling that. I'm going by feelings here. Big time. Be careful, you know, who you just befriend, okay? What crowns you or the goal is the, the nine of wands, I mean eight of wands. It's about messages, okay? It's about strange messages. It could be messages that are not on the up and up or all over the place uh, or that you're waiting on them um, or you're leery of them, like I said. So Eight of Wands, I need two cards for Cancer, please. Two cards. Ace of Rods. You know, you're wanting yourself a passionate new beginning in life. And you're unsure about this, maybe a message being sent of the passionate nature. I'm thinking of intentions. You're not entrusting someone's intentions. So Eight of Wands in reverse. Eight of Rods. I need another card, please, for Cancer. Three of Swords. Yeah, you're afraid of heartbreak and sorrow, too. That's what's crying on you. Yeah, don't let... Be careful of your friends that you have in your life because they may not, you know, be for you. They may be... You know, have a hidden agenda of why they want to befriend you. They say, oh, I'm your friend. And I'm giving you this as an example. They're saying, I'm, I'm your friend, right? But really, they're after the person you're with, in a way, or they have intentions towards them. I'm feeling that just for some of you, not all of you. I don't even know about put out this reading, or I may have to put out a different reading for cancer, because this is really narrowing down to a certain individual. It's tapping into me, apparently. Foundation of Tower. You're going to hear something that's going to leave your life changed or you're afraid of this. But I need two cards, please, with the Tower as the foundation. Yeah, coming out of sleepless nights and trying to move on from a troubling situation. You may be having sleepless nights with the Tower attached to that. Sometimes I could be making it a little worse, and you're trying to move on from a troubling situation. You want calmer waters. You want nicer um, settings in the future. A lot of interference going on in the past situation. People aren't always what they say they are. You know, you got to be careful. So the Eight of Swords. I need two cards, please, for Cancer. Two cards. And there, yeah, not having enough, maybe not having enough finances and the nine of pentacles in reverse and losing a little bit of your independence too. And you're feeling trapped over that. And you do have a lover situation coming up, someone that's really close to you. So I need two cards for the lovers. Why is it in the very near future? Two cards, please. I will give, like I said, the love reading at the end. Could have to do with the Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and making a final decision towards this person as a lover, what you're wanting from them. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Nine of Swords is coming out of sleepless night. Just come out of it. Don't worry so much. It could be that. Or, like I said, some of you may be, you know, having sleepless nights. But I need two cards, please, for the Nine of Swords. In reverse for Cancer. Two cards, please. Yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse. And there it is again. Someone's trying to resurrect the situation. Um, I'm just feeling this. And maybe I'm wrong. You know, uh, pick and choose your friends wisely. Okay, just do it. Because they may come back. You know, this person that keeps on, I feel like they keep on coming back in and out. You know, they're trying to resurrect a situation that has to do with you and your your your, your environment and what's going on in your life. So it could be also for some of you, 
someone may try to resurrect a love situation with you also. So the you know the death card in reverse. I need two cards, please. Two cards, please, for cancer. Coming towards cancer. Taking a stand. Mm. Yeah, this person is kind of wishy-washy. They don't know what they're going to do just yet or the situation on the outside with the two of wands in reverse. They may try to take a stand on you or you may need to take a stand on them and tell them, you know, hey, I see what's going on, you know. Don't even, don't even pull a fast one. Don't even pull a fast one. Your hopes and fears, you lose strength. Maybe you're afraid you lose strength in you, you know, your whole life or your relationships or you're wondering if it's losing some of its strength. The hangman in reverse, trying to come out of stagnation and messages. You're worried about messages with the eight of wands, okay? In the end, you'll be dealing with this queen of discs, okay? The queen of discs is in reverse. They're not looking... I need two cards for that before I go any further. Queen of Discs in reverse. Why are you there for cancer? Why are you there for cancer is the final outcome. The High Priestess. This person is very secretive. King of Rods. And they have a lot of fire energy in them. Possibly Aries. Maybe Leo. Sagittarius. Or they got short temper. There's just something that's not quite right. Okay. So choose your friends wisely. I'm not saying you should be upset or not. Just, you know, if you feel like your intuition is right, yeah, release this person, this energy from your life. You may have to take up a stand and say, uh, not now. You're not doing this, you know. You're not doing this in my life. You're not taking advantage of this. I see what you're doing. Back off. Go away, you know. And it's, I'm not saying that you should be cruel or anything. You just, you know, got to look them straight in the eye and let them know what's going on. You're not putting up with it, okay? And if you're dealing with a, a, a air sign that may be involved in this, you need to lay down the law with the judgment and tell them straight up, no more of that, okay? They may not have bad intentions themselves. They just may be liking the intention, intention they're getting. But this person is going to be uh, rubbing up against you in some way, saying, I'm going to be your friend. You know, they're going to, you know, rub elbows with you. But be careful of that. I'm going to give you a love reading. You know, I may upload a different one for cancer because this may not resonate with a lot of you. But it needs to be put out there for somebody. I need three cards for the love reading for cancer, sun, moon, and rising, starting May 2020. May 2020. Three cards, please, for love for cancer. What's going on love for cancer? Sun, moon, and rising. That one's to come out. It's meant to come out. Let me put it out. Forgiving and learning. Pay attention to the red flags. Release your ex. For some of you, you may be dealing with an ex situation. Past life relationship, too. My past life cards are another location or I would read them. Uh, yeah, forgive and learn. Learn from the situation if you had dealt with sorrow with a person. I'm thinking release your ex would be release a friend too. I'm feeling that. I am. I'm sorry. I am feeling a friend type situation. You got to pay attention to red flags. You know, maybe an ex friend coming back or a friend that's or someone who pr pretends they're a friend. Okay? You don't need that kind of people in your life. Okay? Cancer. Yeah, forgive and learn. I'm not saying you should, you know, weigh it down and come. you should come out of sleepless nights on it, you know. You know, sure, forgive them, but learn from it. Pay attention to red flags and just release this person out of your life. I'm thinking it's more of a friend that may get involved in your relationships, you know. Like you may be interested in somebody and they may be too and they're just, they're just, I don't know. I just don't trust it. I need three cards. Ugh. Three cards from the ace, the eighth house tarot for clarification in this for love for cancer. Three cards for love for cancer. Sums out right here. <laughs> I hate feeling that way. Ace of fire. Yeah, go for a new beginning with something. Le learn from it and move on. Move on. You can do this. You can do a passionate new beginning. 
The high priestess again. Pay attention to someone who's secretive, manipulative, backstabbing, mf -er. I'm sorry, but that's why I feel it. Release this person. Release this person. Okay? Because if you don't release this person, you will not have a happy situation in your life. You will. This is a ten of water. Okay? To, to have your happily ever after, get this person out of your life because they're going to mess it up otherwise. Okay? Knight of Earth. Could be, like I said, an Earth sign that you're dealing with. I don't think it's the man, to be honest with you. Now, it could be uh, male or female. Uh, just release the BS, okay? You don't need it. You don't want them um, hobnobbing with the people you're interested in. And you don't need that type of energy in your life with things going on. And you can do that. It looks like you get your love. You're, you're, you're laying down the law. But, you know, realize this person that you're dealing with is not your friend, okay? It's not really. Not really. I just the way I see it. Now I'm going to let this go, and I will talk to you later. I'll probably do another cancer reading soon because this may not resonate with a lot of people, but the message still needs to go out. Okay? Bye.